Hello. Am I recording? It's always the struggle is like every time I record a video, I immediately question whether I actually hit record or not, which has saved me a few times, which is good. I'm here at Wildlife Prairie Park in Peoria. I'm actually not sure if this is technically Peoria. I'm close to Peoria. Maybe I'll fix it later in the description or something. But I appear to be the first person to have played this in a while, at least since uh, the last snowfall on UDISC. I barely, I haven't seen any scores on the leaderboard since like January 4th, I think. It is now January something today. I don't know. Either way, there's like three to four inches of snow on the ground, which I mean, given my life experience, three to four inches can be quite a lot, if you know what I'm saying. But I'm a little worried about losing discs. We're gonna see. Um, I'm hoping that, I, I don't know this course very well. The first few holes look a little open. I am playing the main layout. I'm playing the main layout on U-Disc, which apparently is putting me at the extra long tees. So we'll see. I, I've seen that there are some water carries. We'll see how confident I'm feeling. We might skip those, change it up. Um, but either way, I got done with work pretty early today. So we got some extra daylight. I'm assuming this is gonna take a while. I've heard, I've read that it's a long, a long hike for this one. So yeah, let's go have fun. Hopefully not lose any discs. And if I do, I'll find them in a while when everything melts. Because today it's warmer, it's 37 degrees. Everything is melting, which means the sew is soft and wet. I will probably be soft and wet at the end of this. And uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how the score ends up. It's probably gonna be, be big, big, big score. <laughs> Pretty good shot. The snow is deep. I I think my feet are gonna be really wet. <laughs> All right, well, the footing's a little tricky down there, but got pretty much pin height. Okay, so um, I showed you my lie down there. I'm gonna take casual, pretty much just like straight behind it from the basket. I think that's fine. Um, given the conditions, I'm just gonna do it. That's a steep slope. It's wet, snowy, icy. So yeah, I'm gonna take some casual on that. Well, that feels all right. I mean, if I had just put a touch less hyzer on that upshot, would have been putting for birdie, no problem. So I feel pretty good about that on the extra long tee. I gotta grab my retriever and get that disc. Hole two basically looks the same as hole one. It's just, we came down that way, now we're going back this way. Oh, my socks are gonna be so wet soon. I didn't mention it before I teed off on hole three, um, but we were playing the short tee there. So I guess the main layout on U-Disc does go between the long and the short. So we'll, we'll just see which ones they are. I thought they were gonna be the extra long and I'm kind of glad they're not because maybe the main layout will let me skip some of those scary water carries. We'll see. That was the wrong group of trees. Too much hyzer. It's always a little awkward when you record yourself and then you lose a disc and it's on video. Uh, that happened to me at Northwood Black. It's happened to me a couple times, I think. Um, but not today. This one, this is where the snow almost got me. This one was almost completely buried. I had to watch the video, see the point of entry that was right here. And then it was buried back here. Like, yeah, it was, uh, it was close. Yeah, we gotta put 
Um, but yeah, that branch up there knocked it down. It would have been, would have been a lot closer. So uh, we'll see if we can save it. At least I hit the 20 footer. <laughs> All right, hole five. Wait, I should check if we're actually playing this one. All right, well, I'm glad I looked at U-Disc because I was about to tee off from here, which is the uh, the long pad for hole five. This is a water carry. It's probably about 400, 380. I was gonna go for it with, uh, I don't know, my Pro Destroyer, I don't really, I mean, it's, it's a fine disc, but it's one that I wouldn't really miss out of my bag. I was gonna try. Plus it's mostly ice, so there's a, there's a chance that it would skip. Either way, I checked U-Disc and the layout I'm playing has me playing the short, so. I don't know, there's still a chance they throw a forehand here and absolutely shank it into the water or ice or whatever it is. You know, good times, right? That's not great. Dude, are you kidding me? So we're playing from the longs on hole six and the basket, can we see it from this angle? The basket is down there. There's just a river behind it, that's fine. Okay, well, wish me luck, I guess. It's one way not to throw it in the water. God damn it. I forgot, but I did see someone's comment that, uh, about this net. I forgot there's a net behind it, but it's not very tall. So I feel like with, with that much elevation change, it would be really easy to go over the net. Plus there's signs saying that if you, even if you hit the net, it's still OB. So that's tough. This is also tough. Oh. Too low. I threw it soft, but too high, so it faded out too far to the right. Hopefully it's not too far down the hill. Okay, I think that's good. I was trying to go down left side and ended up going straight and right to the right, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I should have come back and got something more stable because I thought I was just gonna like hyze her out into the fairway, but then I was blocked and I actually had a straight shot of the pin. I just had to throw Annie. So I threw it Annie and it went left. Okay, earlier when I said I thought I was probably the only person in a while to play this, or at least since the snow. I think on the, the front area in that big field, the snow had probably just, the wind had blown all the snow. Um, I'm seeing more footprints now, so I don't know why that's important. Elevated putting is killing me.
All right, so hole 11 water carry. The main layout isn't having us skip this one. So hopefully I don't mess it up. I'm not sure, I think it's still mostly ice, so there's a chance I get my disc, but we'll see. Let's just, let's just focus on actually like hitting the line properly. We got a little hung up on those branches, but other than that, that was pretty damn good. really lucky pulled that way up just throwing over the top sure It'd be no problem I went over the top and I thought how bad could it really go and I guess I'm taking a bogey because of it I knew those branches were gonna be trouble. <laughs> oh boy, that was close. Barely enough stuff obstructing that putt. Disc golf in the snow, it's always a gamble. Sometimes you just can't see your disc until you're right on top of it. We walk away two feet and it's just gone. I, I thought this one was a goner. That's one of the best feelings in disc golf, is when you go from the feeling of your crest falling, you're looking for your disc, you're like, oh my God, there's no way I find this disc. You find your disc, boom, you're under the basket. Oh, I'm not under the basket, but I think, I think I can make that putt. That's a pretty good feeling, man. That's a pretty good feeling. That's pretty cool. Paul just ate my ass and left no crumbs. Okay, so we made it to hole 18. Thank God 17 was a par four, so it was only a triple bogey. <laughs> I'm excited to have made it through this thing. I am exhausted. This has been two and a half, three hours. I forget exactly what time I started. It's 4 p.m. now. I think I started close to like 1 p.m. or 1.30. Hiking through the snow and some of these holes like from I think 11 to 12 and maybe there's one other that it's like a five minute walk or hike in this case to get to the next hole. It is tiring. So if you guys come out here, make sure you bring plenty of water, make sure you have good shoes. Obviously, 
I feel like most cases uh, not going to be playing in the snow here. So that just adds a whole another element. I mean, this this hasn't been bad. We, we somehow haven't, haven't lost a disc, knock on wood. The snow here is probably the deepest I've played in this winter season so far. Played in some some snow at other courses. A bunch of my videos have snow in it in the last week or two. But yeah, this is by far the most, and, and walking through it is just exhausting. So I am tired. I'm going to sleep very good tonight. Um, but mostly, uh, I am actually really happy with this course. I'll, I'll add a segment in the chapters for the video so that you guys aren't stuck here if you're just trying to watch the course and see what it plays like. But uh, yeah, hole 18, here we go. All right, I'm happy with that shot. Good placement, it's a par four, 600 and something feet. So that should get us uh, way up there and we can put it on the basket for birdie, hopefully. You know, I was not happy with that detour when I first started throwing it because it's it's pretty understable. And I don't know if it's just my specific disc or if all detours are pretty understable, but I'm kind of liking that it has a spot in the bag for that backhand turnover that just holds in a mid-range because I mostly just have, have beefy mid-ranges. All right, we're gonna try out the the selfie stick mode. Ooh, fancy, because that's what this tripod is really like advertised as, is like a, a selfie on our tripod. It kind of sucks, it falls over too much. So I kind of already gave my speech <laughs> uh, on the T-pad of hole 18 a little bit, but overall just, I really like this course. And again, I'm exhausted, I'm really, really tired, and that's okay, obviously hiking through the snow and this being a long course with some very long walks in between the holes is going to do that, even not in the snow. But yeah, this is uh, this is an incredible track and I don't know how new it is. I saw something about it being kind of new or maybe it's not, I don't, I don't know. Um, it is pay to play. So today I paid $10. I think it's kind of just like honor system because there's no one really here right now in all the snow. Um, but there's a QR code to scan and go, you know, pay your, your daily pass for the park, which I, uh, I have no problem paying for a course that is uh, this high quality. Paid courses are, are a good thing. On the other side of that coin, I think one of the things that makes disc golf so great and so good and accessible is that it is free for the most part, except for obviously buying discs, bags, equipment, whatever it might be. So that, that is one thing, but again, having a paid course that is really amazing and i don't know how well manicured this is in the summer in good weather but i've heard or I, what i read was that it was pretty well taken care of either way a little lake behind us yeah i'm, I'm happy with, with this experience so i'm gonna go back to my hotel and go shower get dry because my feet are absolutely soaked <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna sleep really good. And I'll see you guys um, probably at McNaughton tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go play McNaughton uh, tomorrow. And then uh, maybe Megiddo on Thursday. And then maybe Northwood Blue on Friday. It's a busy week, but you know, when work calls you to Peoria, you answer and you play as much disc golf as you can. So <laughs> that being said, I appreciate you guys being here watching, hanging out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.